Welcome back, everybody. Well, an effort to fast track the conversion of empty office space into housing is bringing together some unlikely allies. NBC Forest Head Chen has more on the effort that supporters say will help revitalize cities around the country and here in Los Angeles. The Ortheum Theater here in downtown Los Angeles is an example of what we're talking about. It was converted in the 2000s, and supporters of this bill want to do the same thing to other buildings in downtown Los Angeles, but right now they say the process is slow and cumbersome. California's downtowns are struggling. Downtown Los Angeles, one of the many downtowns hurting since the pandemic, filled with deserted office buildings, workers fled to work at home. Our downtowns still are built for a time and a way of work uh, that is not coming back anytime soon. State Assembly Member Matt Haney would like to see more of this, the Pegasus, a 1940s building on Flower Street converted to apartments in the early 2000s, a similar transformation to the 1920s Orpheum Theater, whose office building was converted into lofts. But Haney says the process right now is slow and difficult. Right now it's hard to convert many office spaces, even empty buildings, into housing uh, because of red tape because of unnecessary bureaucratic delays and fees. Haney's bill would require cities to fast track the conversion of those buildings. It's gotten support from developers, but also from an unlikely ally, preservationists who made additions to the bill to make sure historic buildings are protected. So it's really looking at, at protecting the integrity and the features of the building. It's not going to cure the housing crises, but it's one more step that we could take to, to increase housing and do it in a way that respects and protects historic resources. Right now, there is no organized opposition to this bill. We asked the mayors of Los Angeles and Long Beach for comment. We are waiting to hear back. In downtown Los Angeles, Ted Chen, NBC4 News.